Grandmother of us all. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Well, aren't you going to sleep, Mom? No, I prefer to contemplate Earth and all of its inhabitants. Aren't there inhabitants on you? Not one. But on Earth, there is the great family of living beings. A family? But we're all very different. Do you think we look alike, little koala? Oh, uh, in uh, fact, yes. We both have a nose, we both have eyes and ears, two hands, five fingers, two arms, two legs, and we have hair. <laughs> we look a lot alike, you and me. Oh, how about we play the family game? Yeah! Okay, listen well. In the great family of living beings, you have to find me a being with eyes, a mouth, and paws, but without any hair. Mm. Oh, I know. Come on, koala. Uh, Woohoo! Found it. Crocodiles don't have any hair. Why? And ostriches don't either. They have feathers. Uh -huh. Way to go. A harder one now. In the family of living beings, go and find me one without any paws. Without paws? Well, yeah. Found it. Snails have no paws. Well done. You're good at this game. Now go and find me one with no eyes and no mouth. Well done, Koala. Mushrooms are living beings with no eyes and no mouth. Yes, just like the flowers and the trees. They are born, eat food, grow up, and make little babies. Uh, like all members of the great family of living beings. What about us? Don't forget about us. Oh. You two, you belong to our great family? Of course we do. We're bacteria and we're living beings, even if we are made of only one tiny cell. Only one cell? That's uh, right. In the great family of living beings, we all have cells. Wow. But why do we all have cells? That comes from the great great grandmother of you all, the ancestor of all living things. Hear that, Koala? We have the same ancestor. <laughs> It'd be really nice to meet her. Let's go see. But. Where are we? You're on Earth, but a long time ago. Long before the animals and the plants even existed. Now back to our game. In the family of living beings, find the great-great-grandmother of everyone. Yoo-hoo! Great-great-grandmother! Where are you? Yoo-hoo! Looks like there's no one around. Let's go look in the ocean. Wow, Seth! But which one is our great-great-grandmother? It's me. My name's Luca, and you are my great-great-grandchildren. Hello, Granny Luca. My name's Little Malabar, and this is Koala. Look how darling you both are. It took a very long time before we could form pretty little living beings like you. But fortunately, I had just the right recipe. A recipe? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. It's called multiplication. <laughs> <laughs> again, do it again! <laughs> Good job! You found Luca, and now you're back to the present. <laughs> it's time for little Koala to go to bed with all of Granny Luca's big family. Good night, everyone. <gasps> all living beings on Earth belong to a great big family, descending from a single cell that lived long ago, known as Luca. The Runaway Stars. Now this is what I call a super seesaw. Oh, come little mole. You'll see it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, of course. You aren't heavy enough. Wait here, I have an idea. With all this, you'll weigh almost the same as me. Don't move, little mole. I'm almost finished. Oh, hi there, kangaroo. Do you want to play with us? Oh. oh, don't you worry, kangaroo. I'll go find little mole. Will you? Yay! <laughs> uh. Little Malabar, 
I saw your friend a little more. She was headed straight toward the very large bubble over there. Thanks, son. Let's head now towards the Super Bubble. Wow. Hello, Super Bubble. <laughs> Hello, little Malabar. I've had lots of visitors today. I just happened to see a cute little mole stop by. That's my friend. I'm looking for her to bring her back home. Keep going straight ahead into the heart of my bubble. You will find little Mo in the middle of my nest of stars. <laughs> <laughs> together again as well. All right then, now back to Earth. Oh, you're leaving already? We're gonna travel soon as well. I had no idea that stars could also travel. Certain stars, yes, like me and my sister. We are going to become runaway stars and we're going to travel throughout the galaxy. Sounds good, and we're going back to Earth. Hang on, we're going to help you out. Right, little sister? Yeah, wait a sec. Now watch this. First, I will get bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger! Whoa. <laughs> it's spinning like crazy! <laughs> 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 and now I'm going to implode! <laughs> I'm a runaway star! I'm Mop on a Great Voyage! <laughs> Hang on, little Mo. We'll get home super fast! Thanks for the wave, little sister! Surfing on cloud waves. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I'm continuing straight ahead. And we're going this way. Bye, runaway star. Bye now. Safe travel to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call a perfect landing. Well done, kangaroo. And now we can play on our seesaw. Oh, oh, looks like our little runaway mole is tired. <laughs> Sometimes, in faraway space, a star leaves its sisters at high velocity speed. It becomes a runaway star that creates enormous waves when it passes through cloud bubbles. Planet or star? Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Where are you? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! What's that I hear? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Where are you hiding? Oh. <laughs> this way? Ah, someone there? <laughs> Got you! But who are you? You have big nostrils, you're very strong, and all furry! You are Gorilla! <laughs> What's going on? Phew! It feels really hot here. Where are you, Gorilla? No, but you're not Gorilla. You are little, all round. Are you an armadillo? Are you kidding? I'm an Adam. An Adam? Yeah. <laughs> large core of an enormous ball of matter. matter! Oh, I know! We're in the core of the sun! You lose! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jupiter! I thought you were the sun! Me? The sun? It's much bigger than I am and much hotter as well. It is a star! A planet or a star? Let's play at Blind Man's Bluff in space! Come on, let's continue, Gorilla! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Well, 
while releasing heat to light. That's exactly what we atoms do when we're in a boiling hot core. Yay, fusion! <laughs> oh, they're little seeds of light. Yes, that's us. We, we are photons. <laughs> I know. This time we really are in the sun. Yay, yeah, you win. Agitated, but you're still an atom. That's right. We're in a smaller core here, and it's cool. Oh. Mm, so then, Gorilla, are we inside a planet or a star? <laughs> you win! <laughs> well done, Gorilla. We were inside the core of a planet. <laughs> but which planet are we on? We're on planet Earth with our friends, the gorillas! <laughs> <laughs> In space, the stars, such as the sun, are much larger than the planets. Their cores are so hot that the atoms found there fuse together and produce heat and light.